Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good morning, dear students. In this lecture, we will be studying two topics. One, Gedar movement, and the second one, Home Rule Leagues. First of all, we will be looking at the background. With the outbreak of the First World War, period of First World War was from 1914 to 1918. The Indian National Congress mainly helped the Britishers in the First World War in the form of money, men and material in the hope that immediately after the First World War, some kind of democratic setup would be introduced in India. The President of United States of America, Woodrow Wilson, stated that the First World War was waged for protecting democracy across the globe. So, the Indians came for forward supporting the Britishers in the First World War, in the hope that some kind of democratic institutions would be introduced in India, considering the grand services rendered by the Indians to the British during one of the difficult times of the British. But during this period, two movements originated. One was a revolutionary movement which was Gadar movement. It was a revolutionary movement. The second movement was Home Rule Leagues, which were not revolutionary in character. First of all, we will be studying the revolutionary movement of Gadar movement. What was the background behind the organization of the Gedar movement. The Gedar revolutionaries were mainly recruited from the Punjabi emigrants, Punjabi emigrants settled in west coast of North America, west coast of North America. The Dar movement originated not in India, but in United States of America. The Punjabi emigrants in United States of America formed the main recruities of the Gedar movement. There were many flights or grievances to these emigrant, Indian emigrants to the northern North America. What were their flights? flights of the Punjabi emigrants in North America, most of them were debt ridden, ridden and land hungry persons. Debt ridden and land hungry persons. Mainly they were emigrated from Julandar and Koshyarpur. Most of the emigrants were from Jalandar and Koshyarpur. 
they were dirty ridden and land hungry peasants who migrated from Punjab to North America. Most of them had earlier served in the British Indian Army and had thus acquired a confidence and the means necessary for migrating to North America. In North America they faced different problems. The attitude of the local population, especially the white labor union was discriminatory, discriminatory and humiliating attitude was were meted out to these Punjabi emigrants peasants into North America. The American agencies also got support from Secretary of State for India. Secretary of State for India. With the direction of the Secretary of State for India, this kind of discriminatory and humiliating attitudes were meted out to these Punjabi emigrants. The attitude of white labor unions was also shabby to these peasants, peasant migrants. So, they decided to organize themselves against this kind of discriminatory and humiliating attitude. The British government also forced the emigrants not to, to not to, to go to North America. The British government also exercised pressure on these emigrants not to, to go to North America, but they were to direct to Fiji. In Fiji, the British planters needed Indian labor rates oh, over and again the Britishers feared that the policy of liberty existing in North America would infest with these peasants. So, the British government directed these people the emigrants to Fiji where British planters required the service of these peasants. Over and above, the British government feared that in, when they were sent to North America, they would get into contact with the liberal ideals existing in that place. The immigration community was well aware that they would get respect in foreign land only if their mother country was free. And in order to free the mother India from the British rule, they decided to organize. These Punjabi emigrants saw Lala Hardayal. As their leader, he had come to United States of America way back in 1911 and had he been lecturing at Stanford University. These Punjabi emigrants in North America found Lala Hardayal as an emerging leader. They believed that Lala Hardayal could organize the Punjabi emigrants for the freedom of Mother India. Lala Hardayal accepted the request of the Punjabi emigrants. 
and in May 1913, Hindi Association was formed. Hindi Association. Lala with the support of Lala Hardayan, the Punjabi emigrants started Hindi Association in 1930 in May 1913 in United States of America. Baba Sohan Singh, Baba Sohan Singh was the president of was the president and Hardayal was the secretary. Later the name of Hindu association was changed as Hindustan Gedar Party. Hindustan Gedar Party. This is the background through which Gadar party was formed in 1911 from 1911 onwards Lala Hardayar had been working in United States. He, was, he had been lecturing at Stanford University in May 1913 Hindi association was founded. Later his name was changed to as Hindustan Gadar party. Baba Sohan Singh was the president, elected president of this Vedar party. Lala Hardayal was the secretary. It started a weekly called Gedar in 1913. And its headquarters came into known as Yugandar Ashrama. Yugandar Ashram, Yukandar Ashram in San Francisco. The headquarters the headquarters of Gadar party came in known as Yugandar Ashram. It was located in San Francisco. Now we are going to analyze the strategy and action, strategy and action of Gadar party. What were the strategies and the actions adopted by the Gadar party? They were well aware that the British rule could be overthrown by armed revolt. They were well aware that British rule in India could be overthrown only by armed revolt. Secondly, this message was it to be spread to Indian soldiers as well as the Indian masses, Indian soldiers and the masses of the country. Thirdly, they opined that the freedom available in United States of America should not be used, should not be used against America but against Britain fully. come to the strategy and action of the Gadar movement, they were they were well aware that armed revolt was necessary to overthrow the British rule. Secondly, this message was needed to be spread among the Indian masses and soldiers of British India and they were well aware that the freedom available in India available in America should not be used against America, but only against British. Fourthly, 
as you have been told earlier that they would get respect in foreign countries only if mother India was free. They had a firm belief that they would get respect in foreign land only if mother India was free. Now, as you have been told earlier, they started a newspaper called Gedar. It was founded in 1913. Its first edition was in Urdu. The first edition of the Gedar newspaper was in Urdu. What kind of message did the newspaper Gedar convey? It conveyed the message of nationalism, message of nationalism. Secondly, the British economic policies like drain of wealth, drain of wealth, high land revenue, high land revenue, frequent visit of famine, frequent visit of famine due to the economic policies adopted by British government. Famine frequently visited in the country, expenditure on army and civil service. and the British policy of divide and rule. These were the subjects mainly discussed in the Gadar newspaper. They used to spread the idea of nationalism among the Indians through this newspaper. The newspaper heavily criticized the economic policies adopted by the British government in India like a drain of wealth, transfer of India's wealth from India to Britain, high land revenue policies. It improved issued the peasantry of the country, frequent visit of famine, commercialization of agriculture, decline of the traditional indigenous industries caused famine and for poverty in the country, famine frequently visited, expenditure on army and civil service. The British army in India was also used by the British government for its colonial purposes in Asia and Africa. The British policy of divide and rule, dividing Hindus and Muslims, thereby strengthening a British touch. These British policies were heavily criticized in the newspaper Gedar, and this newspaper circulated among the Indian masses and soldiers in different parts of the country. One Indian emigrants. Indian emigrants in North America. This newspaper heavily criticized by British policies and it tried to spread the message of nationalism. The newspaper was widely circulated among the Indian emigrants in North America. Then it was sent to emigrants in Philippines. Immigrants in Philippines, Hong Kong, China, Malaya states, Singapore, and Honduras. These newspapers were widely circulated among the Indian emigrants in Philippines, Hong Kong, China, Malaya state, Singapore and Honduras. Among the Indian emigrants, it was also sent to India as well. This Gadar newspaper was also sent to India as well. It created nationalistic feelings 
and the aware of the economic policies were pursued by the British in India. Now, we will be looking into the major events of the Gadar party, major events. First of all, the British government directed the American authorities to take effective measures to prevent the activities of prevent the activities of Lala Hardayal. The British authorities asked American authorities to pre effectively prevent the activities of Lala Hardayal. Huh. Then he was arrested by American authorities, he was arrested by the American authorities, but he was released release it on bail. He was given bail, but he jumped off the bail and escaped to Switzerland, escaped to Switzerland. Lala Hardayal was arrested by American authorities at the instance of British government. However, he was arrested, he was released on bail. On bail, he escaped from America to Switzerland. Next event was Koma Geda Maru incident. What was this incident? As you have been told earlier, there existed strict immigration laws in Canada and only the direct ship from India to Canada was allowed into the port. Even though such kind of shipping line was existed, but in 1913 and at the end of the 1913, 1914, this was the condition of emigrating ships to Canada. In 1914, Gurdit Singh, he was an Indian contractor based at Singapore, chartered a fly, chartered a ship called Komagata Mayu. This was the ship chartered by Gurdit Singh to Vancouver. The ship set sailing towards Vancouver on the Canadian coast. During its way, many Gadar leaders visited the ship Gomagada Maru and delivered lectures and distributed pamphlets. The number of people in the ship was 376. This ship sailed from South Asia to Vancouver on Canadian coast. On reaching Vancouver in Canada, the ship was not allowed into the port. Police cordoned off the ship. Police cordoned off the ship and nobody was allowed it to enter into Canada from this ship. As a consequence upon which it was forced out from Canadian waters and directed to Birch Birch, directed to Birch Birch, Calcutta. During this period, the First World War 
broke out. Once the ship Komagata Maru ship reached Calcutta, it was surrounded by the police and due to the hostile attitude of the police, 18 passengers died. 18 passengers died out of the total number of 376 passengers. 18 passengers died due to the hostility with the police when the ship reached at Calcutta. 202 passengers were arrested by the British police at Calcutta. The remaining passengers run away. The third incident relating to Gadar party was that engineering of revolt. As you have been told that the Gadar leaders were aware that the British administration in India could be overthrown only by using armed revolt. In 1914, November 1914, an attempt was made to engineer a revolt against the British administration in India, but this attempt was failed. The second attempt in this direction took place in 1915. It was engineered by Rash Bihari Bose. Rash Bihari Bose. It was also abortive. The first armed revolt to overthrow the British rule in India took place in 1914. The attempt pay failed. The second attempt for overthrowing the British administration in India through armed revolt was undertaken by Rash Bihari Bose. It was also abortive. Rash Bihari Bose escaped and many other leaders were arrested by the British government and Gadar movement was suppressed. Now, we can look at how the British ruthlessly suppressed the Gadar movement. 42 sentenced to death. Two hundred persons were given long prison terms. In do these effective measures, the British government suppressed the Gadar party. A generation of leaders from Punjab got politically beheaded because of the repressive policies adopted by the British government. Now, major achievements of the Gadar party. What were the major achievements of the Gadar party? One, it played a pivotal role in spreading national ideology. not only in India, but also abroad. You have been told earlier that the newspaper Gadar played a key role in spreading national ideology and the economic policies of the British government among the emigrants in different parts of the world. Secondly, We can come across with the fact that there was no 
communal feelings among the leaders of the Kedar party. Even though the majority of them were sex, six, majority from Sikh community, they accepted people belonging to non Sikh community. Lala Hardayal, Lala Hardayal and Rash Bihari both were Hindus. Their leaders were Logamania, Balagangadra Tilak, V. D. Savarkar, and Arabinda Ghosh. Communalism did not affect Gadar party, even though majority belonged to Sikh community, they accepted non Sikh as well. Their leaders, Lala Hardayal, was a Hindu, Rash Bihari Bose, who engineered an armed revolt in 1915, even though it was failed. They belonged to Hindu community. Now, the students may have been able to know well aware of about the Gadar party. Now, we are moving towards another movement organized during the period of the First World War. As you have been told earlier, it was none other than Home Rule League. Home Rule League. First of all, look at the background. Background of the creation of the Home Rule League. One, Balagangadra Tilak, Logamania, Balagangadra Tilak was released from jail. You have been told earlier lectures that after the Surat split. The main attention of the British government was the suppression of the extremist elements within the Indian National Congress. Logamani Balagangadra Tilak was captured and sent to Mandalaya jail for six years of imprisonment. Now, he was released from jail. Immediately after his release from jail, his next attention was to get back into Indian National Congress. From this Indian National Congress, they drifted far away in 1907 due to Surat split. Badagangadra came in to understand the fact that without the unity, it was not possible to fight against mighty Britishers. By dividing moderates and extremists into two, the Britishers used it to suppress the extremist elements. So, a unified action was necessary to fight against the British imperialism in the country. Logamani Balagangadra Tilak was well aware of it. So, his next attention was to get back into Indian National Congress. And during this time, Indian National Congress had become symbolized the national movement symbolize national movement so any national level movement against the british should be under the banner of the indian national congress third background was provided by annie besant Annie Besant reached in India in 1893 to work for the Theosophical Society. Theosophical Society. Annie Besant reached India in 1873 for working with the Theosophical Society. And now, because of there was no definite program of action within the Indian National Congress who supported the war efforts of the British government in the hope that immediately after the war, 
some kind of democratic setup would be introduced in India. This belief was further strengthened by the declaration made by Woodrow Wilson that first world war was waged for the protection of the democracy across the globe. So, there was no definitive plan of action before the Indian National Congress. So, in this time Annie Besant came forward to start Home Rule League on the model of Irish Home Rule League. Irish Home Rule League, but these leagues should be started with the support and the backing of Indian National Congress. So, the next attention of Annie Besant and Logamania Balagangadhar Tilak was re-entry of the extremist into the fold of Indian National Congress. They made an attempt in 1914 for the re-entry of the extremist elements within the Indian National Congress at the annual session of the Indian National Congress held in 1914. But because of the opposition from Furosha Mehta, the attempt failed. The next attempt was made in 1915 at the annual session of the Indian National Congress. Annual session of Indian National Congress held in 1915. They made an attempt to return to Indian National Congress. Two developments took place to help the re entry of extremist into Indian National Congress. One, Furocha Mehta died. He had strictly opposed the re entry of the extremists within the fold of Indian National Congress. Secondly, through the newspapers and the journals, through the newspapers and the journals, Annie Besant and Logamani Balagangadhar Tilak launched campaign for their re entry into Indian National Congress. Because of these two developments, the extremists got readmitted into Indian National Congress at the annual session of the Indian National Congress held in 1915. Once Tila got readmitted into Indian National Congress, he started Home Rule League. He started Tilak, BG Tilak, Logamania Valagangadra Tilak. He started the first Home Rule League. There were two Home Rule Leagues. One was founded by Logamani Valagangadra Tilak, and the second Home Rule League was founded by Mrs. Annie Besant. The first Home Rule League was founded by Valagangadra Tilak in April. 1916. In April 1916, the first Home Rule League was founded by Logamania Balagangadra Tilak. The place of operation of Home Rule League founded by Logamania Tilak were Central Maharashtra, Central Maharashtra, Bombay City, Karnataka, Central Provinces, and Berar. The Home Rule League was founded by, by Logamania. Balagangadhar Tilak in April 
16. The Home Rule League founded by Logamani Balagangadhar Tilak was operative in Central Maharashtra, Bombay City, Karnataka, Central Provinces and Berar. It had six branches. It had six branches. One branch in Central Maharashtra, one branch in Bombay City, one branch in Karnataka and there was one branch in Central Provinces but two branches in Berar. In 1916 April, Logamani Walagan founded the first Home Rule League. The place of operation of this Home Rule League were Central Maharashtra, Bombay City, Karnataka, Central Provinces and Berar. He founded six branches. One was operative in Central Maharashtra, second one in Bombay City and one in Karnataka, one in central provinces and they had uh, two branches in Maharashtra, in sorry in Berar, two branches in Berar. In all other places there existed only one branch each. Method of work. Of home rule legates. As you have been told earlier, the method of adopted by Kedar party was revolutionary in character, but what was the method adopted by the home rule leaguers? Their method was not much different from the moderate elements of the Indian National Congress, not much different, not much different from moderates. Coming to the method of work of the Home Rule Legates, it included distribution of pamphlets, distribution of pamphlets, lecture tools, three publication wide publication of newspapers of newspapers and journals. These were the method of work adopted by the home rule leaguers. When we compare an analysis with the method of work of the moderate elements of the Indian National Congress, the method adopted by the home rule leaguers was not much different from that of the moderates. Lokamani Balagangadhar Tilak published six pamphlets. Lokamani Balagangadhar Tilak published six pamphlets in Maratha, Maratha language, and two pamphlets in English. Six pamphlets were published by Balagangadhar Tilak in Maratha and two pamphlets were published in English language. 47,000 copies of these pamphlets were sold. In addition to the publication of these pamphlets, he also undertook, he undertook wide tour. across Maharashtra and explain the demands for home rule or Swaraj, Swaraj, home rule, Swaraj or self rule. He also undertook endurage in different parts of Maharashtra and explained the need for home rule or Swaraj in India. He opposed caste system. 
he opposed the caste system, untouchability, and imparting of education, imparting of education among the masses, and he also requested the Brahmins to be kind to non Brahmins. Brahmins to be kind to non Brahmins. Once the Home Rule League became popular, the British government adopted repressive measures to suppress the Home Rule League. A showcase notice was issued. Showcase notice issued it to Valagangadra Tilak. Explaining why he should not be bound for one year good behavior and demanding a sureties of 60,000 rupees. He was given a showcase notice. Why should not he bound for good behavior for one year and a fine of 60,000 rupees? He failed in this case at a lower court, at a lower court for Logamani Balagangadar Tilak Muhammad Ali Jinnah appeared. Jinnah appeared the case for Balagangadar Tilak in lower court, but he was exonerated from this case at the high court. At high court, he was made free from this punishment. By April 1917, he enlisted the support of 14,000 supporters. By April, by April 1917, he enlisted the support of 14,000 people. Now, we are going to analyze a home rule league started by Ani Besant. Founded by Ani Besant. Ani Besant founded the home rule in September 1916, when the Indian National Congress did not take any effective measure to revive the nationalist movement. So, Home Rule League was started by Ani Besant in 1916. Even before the inauguration of the Home Rule League by Ani Besant, Of 26 English pamphlets were sold. Even before the inauguration of the Home Rule League by Annie Besant, 3 lakhs of 26 English pamphlets were sold. In these pamphlets, Ani Besant discussed it. Ani Besant discussed it. The system of government, the system of British government, and how it exploited the Indians, and the reasons for self government or Suraj. 
animation in these farmlands explained the existing system of government and how the British administration exploited the Indians and the need for home rule or self government. The kind of home rule or Swaraj or home rule demanded by the home rule legates was more or less the same like that of the Swaraj of moderates. Swaraj of moderates. that is self governing institutions in the model of Canada and Australia, not a complete independence. The Swaraj demanded by the Home Rule League was more or less like the Swaraj which had earlier been demanded by the moderate elements of the Indian National Congress. Any percent was able to enlist the support of the moderates. Any percent was able to enlist the support of the moderates, as you have been told earlier. They did not have any plan of action among the Indian National Congress against the British administration, so it dragged the moderates into the fold of. Home Rule League. Moderates were attracted into Home Rule League because before the Indian National Congress, they did not have any plan of action or program against the British administration. Two newspapers, two newspapers of Ani Besant, New India and Common Wheel. These were the newspapers of Ani Besant, which of fight against the British administration in India. Servants of India Society. This was founded by Gobalakrishna Gogali. The members of the Servants of India Society founded by Gobalakrishna Gogali also attracted to Home Rule League founded by Annie Besant. She like Logamani Balagangadra Tilak undertook tour to the different parts of the country delivered lectures and distributed farmlets demanding Home Rule League. The place of operation, place of operation of Home Rule League founded by Annie Besant was the rest of India. You have been seen that Bombay city, central provinces, Berar, Karnataka and Maharashtra. The Home Rule League founded by Balagangadra Tilak was made in operational and in other parts of the country, the Home Rule League founded by Mrs. Annie Besant was made operative. Lucknow session of Indian National Congress. Nineteen sixteen. In the Lucknow session of the Indian National Congress, the Home Rule League joined with Indian National Congress. You have been told that it was, they were also joined by All India Muslim League. The importance of Lucknow session of Indian National Congress was that in this the moderates joined with the extremists, they were also joined by the Home Rule Leaguers at the Lucknow session in 1916. Because of the success of the Home Rule League started by Annie Besant, the British government adopted repressive measures to suppress 
the Home Rule League started by Annie Besant. Annie Besant, B. P. Vadia, and Arundhali. They were arrested by the British administration in June 1917. These leaders of Home Rule League were arrested by the British administration in June 1917. But in 1917, another major development took place that is, Mondegu reforms. Mondegu was the Secretary of State for India. In 1917, he announced that constitutional reforms would be introduced in India in 1919. With the announcement of the constitutional reforms, the demand for self-rule or home rule was no longer a seditious activity. No, it was no longer a seditious activity with the announcement of Mondegu that constitutional reforms would be introduced in India. The demand for self-rule or home rule was no longer a seditious activity. In September 1917, Ani Besant was released from jail at the instance of Logamania Balagangadra Tilak. Ani Besant became President of Indian National Congress. In 1917 September, Ani Besant was released from jail. In 1917, at the instance of Logamani Balagangadra Tilak, Ani Besant became the President of the Indian National Congress. Ani Besant was the first woman to become the President of the Indian National Congress. Now coming into the decline of Home Rule League. By 1918, Home Rule League declined. What were the reasons behind the what were the reasons behind the decline of the Home Rule League? One, with the announcement of constitutional reforms by from the Home Rule League. Secondly, with the announcement of constitutional reforms, that is, some kind of democratic institutions would be introduced in India, Ani Besant became passive with the announcement of the constitutional reforms by Mondegu. Tilak was busy fighting a case against Valentin Chirol, the author of Indian unrest. Tilak pursued a case against Valentin Chirol. He was the author of the book Indian unrest. So, Logamani Balagangadra Tilak was far away from India in Britain busy fighting the case. It rendered Home Rule League leaderless. Fourthly, the emergence of Gandhi. totally eclipsed the movement. These were the reasons behind the decline of the Home Rule League. Now coming to the major questions from this topic, one, name of the Gadar journal, journal started by Gadar party. Question number two, name the newspapers of Ani Besant. Name the newspapers of Ani Besant. Question number three, explain the 
method of work method of work of comru ligates question number 4 what was komagada maru incident question number 5 who was the first women president who was the first women president of INC Indian National Congress these are the questions you are expected to answer thank you for watching my lecture